एक्सपीरियंस द हेवनली टेस्ट ऑफ कफुल अ न्यूट्रिशियस एंड डिलीशियस डिश फ्रॉम द सेरेन माउंटेन ऑफ उत्तराखंड इंडिया जॉइन मी टूडे टू लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर दिस हेल्दी एंड माउंट वाटरिंग रेसिपी दैट विल टेंटलाइज योर टेस्ट बर्ड्स एंड सेटिस्फाई यू Start by boiling water in a large vessel. Once the water is boiling, remove it from the heat and add a pinch of baking soda. This will help preserve the bright colors of the sag. Add chopped and cleaned methi. and palak sag for this recipe the ratio should be 1 part methi to 3 parts palak or 1 is to 3 let the sag blanch in the hot water for a maximum of 2 minutes Next, remove the sag from the hot water and let it cool. Once it's cooled to the room temperature, blend them in batches. Take some mustard oil and heat it in the karai until it begins to smoke. To this, add whole cumin seeds. king chop ginger chopped garlic and chopped green chilies to infuse the oil with these delicious flavors To this mixture add the blended sag. Cook for 2 minutes scraping and turning with a spoon intermittently. It's important to cook the sag over medium heat and ensure it doesn't sit in the karai for too long as this will cause it to stick. So make sure you keep an eye on it while cooking. Add turmeric powder, coriander powder, and salt as per your preference. Combine all the spices into the mixture and cook for another 2 minutes. The next step is to mix yogurt with rice flour thoroughly until there are no lumps left. Take this mixture and incorporate it into your sag gravy. This will give you a hearty and thick consistency. Add a cup of water to this and bring the curry to a boil. There will be a lot of spillover as the sag starts to boil. So please remember to cover and cook for another 2 minutes. This will help to thicken the sag and give it a more even texture. As the rice flour cooks, it will turn into a paste that will absorb the liquid from the sag and help to thicken it up.
Once the desired thickness for the gravy has been achieved, take it off the flame and we are done. We serve the kafuli with a cube of butter and juliennes of ginger along with misi roti. You can also serve it with jeera rice, roti or chapati. Thanks for watching.